So, everybody, welcome <laughs> to the Game Breakers podcast. I am your host, Austin, the wonderful, fabulous Austin. No, I'm just joking. I'm not wonderful or fabulous. Um, today's topic, today, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty, more specifically the more recent two games, um, Call of Duty Cold War and Call of Duty Vanyard that it was set to be coming out soon. Um, but to talk... T- to talk to us about Call of Duty is the beautiful, wonderful, amazing Lucy Soul Stealer. Hello. How are you doing, Lucy? I'm doing good tonight. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. So, I brought you on because you are my... You are the person that I think of when I think of Call of Duty. You know everything about Call of Duty. <laughs> and I know nothing. I do know a lot because I played that very young. So I played like the original Modern Warfare and Black Ops and stuff like that. Awesome. Okay, so. Um. For those who are out of the loop and living under a rock, (laughs) Call of Duty is a huge (gasps) thing going on right now. It's a multiplayer first-person shooter. And I think the recent two are you have to be online for. Correct me if I'm wrong. Here recently, ever ever since Black Ops 4, it's you have to have online. Uh, Black Ops Curve. Yes. No. Well, it's always been online, but I, I know ever it's, since I know it's Black always Ops, been online. But ever since Black Ops Three, you actually need. It was Black Ops Three that you always needed it. Okay, so I was wrong. This is why I have you, because I don't yeah. know a dang thing. Well. Well, it's okay. It takes a while. Yeah, it definitely does take a while because I've not played Call of Duty since. Uh, I've not played. I've not actually sat down and played Call of Duty for about a year or two. The last time I played Call of Duty was on stream. It was Call of Duty Warzone, so it doesn't really count. I was playing Call of Duty on stream with my brother. I can go look and see Uh, exactly when that was. I'm not entirely sure. But while I'm looking at this, do you have any comments on... Let's start start with Call of Duty Cold War. What what are your opinions about Call of Duty Cold War? Yeah. Cold, Cold War is really good right now. But the, I think this is their last season before they go all focusing in on the new Vanguard, which is coming out soon. But with this new season dropping, it has had a lot of good elements added. And with the patch notes that I've been reading, there's going to be a lot more uh, amazing new content to come. That's, that's amazing. Um, so, Cold... Cold War has a story mode, just like all Call of Duty's, correct? So, did you ever get to play the storyline of Call of Duty Cold War? I have. I really played it. I went through it all, and I tried to get every achievement on there. Uh, I finished it on my alt account, which was actually fun. And then I'm replaying it on my main account right now, on hard on the hardest difficulty we can, because it I want a challenge. Because if playing it on the normal mode that I was playing it on, it was all right. But if you played on harder, it actually is a challenge. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I don't think I've ever. Wait, no, I've never, I don't, yeah, I've never beaten a Call of Duty storyline. 
the furthest I've got was I believe I got halfway through Modern Warfare 2. But, and... Oh! With, that, but the, my, you have to finish the Modern Warfare series. If you haven't, it, it, yeah, I suggest it. See, I was just never big into first-person shooters. Like, they... You, I don't know. I just never really cared for them. I kind of like to see my character, what I'm playing. Ah, uh, that kind of, makes sense. That makes sense. I'm the kind of person that plays Minecraft in third person. I that I I play everything in first person because I used to play Mario. I used to play Mario Galaxy. Hell, <laughs> yeah, I played it in first person. Nice. Um, so. We got your thoughts on Call of Duty Cold War. Let's see. What else um, What else do we have about Cold War? Right. Uh, how is the lobby filling? Does it fi Do lobbies fill up a lot? Or do they fill up well in Cold War? Yes, it, it does. It t depends on every like where you are at, what time you play. Because where I'm from late at night, you get really... At least for me, you get really bad players or like new people. But when you play during the morning on weekdays, the weekends, uh, you get all those, like, really sweaty people. So it depends on where you, it really is. It's better than some areas of the game where you don't have to sweat as much. Well, there you go, guys. If you want to play Call of Duty online, do early mornings on the weekends. Um, let's see. What about... I, I hear my brother complain a lot about them nerfing guns. Uh, do you have any complaints about that? Yes. Uh, really, the guns that I use, I don't. I I don't. Do, uh, maybe he's playing Warzone, so a bunch of people are getting mad about the nerfs in Warzone, which some of them I agree on. But with the guns that I use, I've been using the new guns, and none of it. The only complaint I have is for the new PM9, is that you have to level the level it up just to get it a uh, fully automatic, even though it's a it's a SMG. Okay, so for the people out there listening, do, can you explain what fully automatic and SMG means? Not definitely not for me. Not definitely not to teach me what that means. T totally not. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's gonna be, it's hard to explain. Pretty much, they made it where it only fires one bullet. What when you first get it? Um. Even though it should be, it should be automatic. Okay, so we talked about multiplayer on Call of Duty Cold War, but I know that Call of Duty Cold War also has a zombies mode. What are your thoughts on the zombies mode? The zombies mode is what I mostly play. Ain't gonna lie, because that is super fun. You get to run around and kill zombies. Like, what else can you ask? The Easter eggs, though, I admit, are hard to do solos like if you have a group of people that know what they're doing um um what is the uh but like if you have a group of people that knows what they're doing you can do it what is the map called do you remember I, I don't remember uh no me, I can't even say Mary de Toten Mary de Toten? Mary Day Toten. Here, hold on. I, <laughs> I'm gonna go check that I'm saying it right. Yes, Mary, Mary, Mary Day Toten. Okay, so I do know from my previous Call of Duty days when I played Black Ops, um, and I played my favorite map, Kino de Toten, that de Toten means uh, of the yes. dead. Yes. Yes. It means of the dead in German. I know Kino means... It, so, Kino de Toten in German is movie theater of the dead. So, what is Meo de Toten, then? It's it just the same thing there, but really more... More zombies and more robots. <laughs> but do Robotic you, zombies, do you know much. what? Do you know what the uh, Meo de Toten stands for? Mauer de Toten? Uh, actually, no, because I don't, I, it's hard for me. Google Translate. 
I do. I do lazy I'm getting on it right now. Okay, so... Okay, here, thank you. Let's see. Uh, uh, I screwed up. Search. Okay, hang on. Mawa de Toti. So, um, Mawa de Toti. But while you do that, I can probably talk about. Oh, I, oh. I, I just got it. Mawa de Toten means wall of the dead. So is there a giant wall in the, ma in the map? Yeah, there is a giant wall, and there's a giant... The wall is protect... Uh, not protecting more. Like, it's more like... Uh, it's... It's surrounding, like, this, like, boss zombie. Nice. Okay. Um, so... We know that you like zombies over multiplayer. What would be your favorite game or what's your favorite game yeah your favorite gun like what what do you mean well, i i mean i actually mean the uh, shotguns because those you can easily easily kill and stuff but with the new guns coming out i mean the um no i still mean the hunter That's, yeah i still mean the hunter i mean shotguns a lot Okay, here's another big question that I hear a lot. How quickly do you pack a punch? How quick I pack a punch right away. I you, I mean, in terms of also the map in, Mer in Merida Toten, you you should pack a punch right away for around ten at least. Okay. Um. Do you have any other comments on Cold War? Uh, just play the game like you normally do any other COD. Don't really care about all the sluts and stuff. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over to our wonderful viewers of the one viewer, Mr. James C. Drone. Um, do you, in the podcast discussion channel do you have any questions about cold war before we move on to our our, our um talking about vanguard we could even did i allow for everybody to be able to talk in here that'd be a good question um perms add everyone no i did not oops um okay now in the podcast okay james asked uh, james says have it played it is the famous in it? Famous. Famous is. N n you mean Famas? Maybe. I don't know how to Dickie pronounce Dickie means Famas. There is t a gun type. Yeah, Famas. Uh, it it's kind of like. It's ki There's a gun kind of like it. But um, there's no FAMAS in it. There's a lot of SMGs and stuff in it, but there's no FAMAS, sadly. Which I sadly didn't add in the beginning of the game. Uh, James says, though, the Galil was always my favorite. Please stop me if I'm butchering the names. <laughs> <laughs> no, it. It's hard to it's hard to pronounce some of these gun gun names too. But yes, that is one of my favorites too. It's really actually powerful in multiplayer. Um, he also wants to know if the campaign is worth a play, and it's pronounced Galil. Thank you, James, Mister Drone. 
Um, but yeah, that's a very good question. Is the campaign worth a play? Uh, yes, it is. If you like actually understanding like the story and and actually kind of a little bit of history of the Cold War, it's actually worth the play. Even grinding out the hours to find every single every single detail and stuff just going back to replay it when you're bored it's still fun awesome okay mr drone do you have any other questions before we move on to talking about vanguard <laughs> Ooh, very good question how's the musical score Because as James and I... Ooh, both, the music? James and I are both... Um, we both love the music. James actually makes... Is making game music. Well, okay. So some of them are good and some of them are not. The multiplayer is not... The music is not good. Zombies, because there's secret music you can get through little Easter eggs and stuff like that. It's really good. And campaign music, you can hear some of those old classic ones. Like, the only ones that are good in multiplayer is the ones that are in the battle pass, like, back from 1980s and stuff. Like, they had um, Never Gonna Give You Up. They had, what else, We'll Rock You. Um, so, wait, there's a battle pass? You can, fire get a battle, you can get a battle pass where you can literally just rickroll everybody? Yes, it's gone right now. But my oh. on my on my main account, I have it. James, the music from the original Black Ops was so good. And yes, I agree there. And also, they, they even throw back music from like the original Black Ops games and other games. Okay, the other COD games. But well, I. Okay, so but you did bring up a pretty interesting thing about the battle pass. How grindy are the battle passes? Uh, but sometimes with double XP, it can not take really long. Like I'm already out here. Well, you you get uh, already a boost in the battle pass once you get it. Okay. And with double XP and stuff, it shouldn't take you long. But if you're behind. It might be a little bit of a grind, but if you're just playing the game and, you, and you're not even gr trying to grind out challenges, plus challenges and stuff that you're not even trying to grind out, it shouldn't take you that long. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, like, I'm at tier 60 right now. Nice. And it's only been, like, two weeks. I'm going to butcher this one. Vorkuta was my favorite in the original Black Ops. So I got to ask, is there a standout level in the campaign? Last single play player question, I swear. <laughs> You're good, James. Ask oh. as many questions as you want. That's hard because there's some really good ones. I think my favorite one is during the mission... I can't remember the mission name, and I can't pull it up right now. Actually, no, I can't. But it's the uh, one where you're acting as a spy in the Russian base. Like, Ooh, that it's like a not fun technically mission. the actual like song that's played as you're walking around and stuff. But. The one, but it's like if you find this little radio and sit there for a bit, you can listen to one a song oh, playing. He was asking about oh, just is there a level that stands out? Not he's not. We're not talking about music anymore. Just any level in the campaign. Wow. The level. I mean that Ooh. is that is good information though. That uh, the, some of the okay, so it's one where you fall off. Yeah, uh, but the best one is like I can't remember the name, but it's pretty much where you you're in the icy tundra in in Russia, and you pretty much get to use a bow and arrow while you're ziplining. Ooh, bow and arrow while ziplining—that sounds very uncharted. 
And if <laughs> and and there's a little Easter egg where there's where you can get one of the plate that one of the CP used to say I'm a goddamn onion. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so uh, James says, also as an idea, maybe you guys could do a spoiler-free portion of the podcast and a spoiler-filled portion. That's actually really smart. Ooh, yeah. And I'm going to do that next episode. Thank you. That's an amazing idea. Yes. Can we, like, can you... Oh, yeah, never mind. I got it. Yes, thank you for pinning that. Yes, I... That's fine. I was like, ooh, pin this. All right, so now we're talking about Vanguard? Yes. Um, yeah, let's move on to Vanguard. So, um, let's, let's see what I know about Vanguard. I don't know much. Um, Vanguard, I know, is the next... Uh, Vanguard is the yeah the upcoming game. Vanguard is the upcoming game in the franchise. Um, its release date is said to be November fifth of this year, but that can always change. Um, right. And right now it's in an alpha build, but you can get it for free on PlayStation, but only on PlayStation. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Because. You know, the Sony boys and girls are the best, and anybody who plays Xbox sucks. I'm just joking. If you guys play Xbox, don't hate me. Xbox is just as good as PlayStation. Yeah. All right. So, what do you? So, is that all the information you know about it right now? Yeah, that's about all I know. So, you take over and tell me everything okay. about <laughs> Vanguard. All right, so we're going to start. It all. It is also about World War II, even though they had a whole game about like World War II, but it's like Yeah, they had better. Kind of World War II. Why is, are they doubling up? They're double dipping? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, they did have five World True. War II games, didn't they? True. So they're all right. quintuple but, dipping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, pretty much the beta or alpha, more like right now, is ha- is pretty much a two v two gunfight, like Modern Warfare, the mono- newer Modern Warfare and Cold and Cold Wars gunfight game, except for it's with multiple teams, so you kind of rotate. Ooh, I liked gunfights. Gunfights it's- were my favorite to do. Yeah, so that I liked it too, but then it's kind of the controls and getting used to the new controls and how the guns work, it's really hard. Yeah, I can see that. So it's going to take us some games. And then just thanks to one of my friends, I just learned that there's also camos you can grind out oh, nice. in the new game. I know there's not much on Vanguard right now, is there? I mean, it being an alpha build. Right, there's not much. But you've played the alpha build. Yes. So, um, this is where I'm going to send a disclaimer. Thank you, Mr. Drone. Um, this is going to, this has some spoilers to Vanguard because Lucy here has the alpha build. So,. If you don't want to be spoiled, just stop listening, close, cover your ears, or just skip ahead um, if you're watching right. this in post. Uh, and we're just going to talk about... Just talk about the gameplay. That's, all, that's what everybody wants to hear about. How's the gameplay like? Yeah. Alright, so the gameplay is really good. Uh, right now, at the... Kind of acts like Modern Warfare, the newer one that we fold play. And 
and stuff. Yeah. But it's, it has new mechanics in it. Which I like a lot. Like, you can shoot through, act like, you break, like, shootable projections, like, soft walls and stuff that you normally shoot through to get kills. You actually break them down. So you kind of create new openings. Oh, so they're, so it's kind of like Rainbow Six Siege. Yes, exactly. Like, even they have a peak, a peak kind of, like, right where instead of aiming up and, like, you can mount stuff again, but you can, if you're behind cover and crouching, you can, like, randomly shoot. So, which is really a really nice adding. So I've always liked that concept of being able to break down because it, it adds more real, a more realistic taste to the game. I don't know if taste is the right word, but it adds more yes. realism to it. Like you can, because when you shoot something, it's gonna break. You're, you're gonna have a bullet-sized hole in the wall. Right. And if you shoot a certain thing so many times, it's gonna eventually just explode or just not be left standing so that that is that is good that you're able to shoot through things and it actually leaves holes that also yes that also eliminate a lot of camping right so like i like how you can like crouch i like how i like the new mechanic where you can crouch behind something and randomly shoot so you can might get lucky. Yeah. Um, I know that that was a huge thing in Siege. I never really played Siege. I watched my brother play Siege. A yes. Lot. But I know that's a huge thing. You would just shoot the wall randomly and it'll look like you were cheating. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Siege is a great game. Siege. I I really wanted to get into Siege. I just I like did. Siege too. I got to see so much where I played rank competitively, mm-hmm. but I think that's for another video. Oh yeah, siege is definitely for another video. <laughs> um. Okay. Do you have anything else you want to add on Vanguard? <laughs> um. I suggest get it pre-ordering it now because you. I learned if you get it now, you probably gonna get really good stuff right away. And, be on the grind already. Yeah. That makes sense, yeah. Um, so if you are on, if you have a PlayStation, definitely go buy, or you don't even have to buy it, it's free. Go get the alpha build of Vanguard, because again, it's free, why not? Um, yeah. Do you, is that the last thing you have to add on Vanguard, or do you want to go to questions, or do you have anything else you want to add? We we can go to questions now. Okay. Uh, Mr. Drone says, probably last question, because I got to go get some stuff done. Of course. Uh, But what are new COD games offering that new Battlefield games aren't? It's a very good question, sir. Ooh. That is hard, because I I personally haven't played um, the new... The new one... The, or the battle, actually, I haven't played Battlefield before at all. So, I can't personally answer this, but I believe there's probably a bunch of YouTubes and stuff out there that, that probably can explain it better than me. Um, yeah, I also don't know much about Battlefield. Actually, I don't know anything about Battlefield, so I couldn't help on this question either um people in the comments please if you could um let us know if you if, if you know what cod games are offering that battlefield games aren't and james and i are pretty close friends i will just send him the answers that you guys have um that would be greatly appreciated Do you have anything else to add? I have nothing else for tonight. I don't think I do either. Um, 
So, do you want to? Yeah, this is probably where we should end it. Um, yeah. <laughs> you got anything you want to plug? Follow me. <laughs> follow us on. Follow this podcast and follow us on YouTube. Yes. Um, follow. It's is it Lucario it, Femboy of Soul Sealer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Follow Wait, Luke. Me, yeah. Yeah. Follow Lucario Femboy Soul Lucario Femboy on YouTube. On YouTube. And Twitch, right? Yes, and Twitch. And also follow Austinator eight 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 on YouTube. And while you're at it. Follow uh, James underscore C underscore drone on YouTube and Twitch because like, he was really the only one listening and I just really want to plug him. He's also going to be a um, <laughs> he, he'll be a guest later on as well. So you, he's going to get plugged anyway. Um, but yeah, follow us on YouTube. I don't have a Twitch, so don't follow me on Twitch, but follow the other two on Twitch. Um, the links to... The links should be in the description box below. Um, yeah, follow right. the podcast on wherever you get your podcasts. Spotify, uh, iTunes, I think they do podcasts. I use CastBox, so if you listen on CastBox, follow us on CastBox. Wherever you get your podcasts, just follow us there. Um, and yeah. So. Yeah. Thank you for listening right. to the Game Breakers. You guys. Have a good night. You guys be the best you that you can be. Peace out. And we'll catch you guys next time. You have any final words to say? Good night. Good night and, and, and make somebody's day happy. All right. Bye, guys.